Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In this particular video I want to share a very simple uh, template that I wrote which allows you to sync your existing uh, iceberg table on object store such as S3 to glue hive meta store. You can run the sync command locally on your machine or on airflow or on EMR however you like. This is a very simple YAML based template. Now this particular is useful because uh, I, I do understand that glue crawlers are already there. You can use uh, glue, glue crawlers to sync your existing iceberg tables to your uh, glue hive meta store. But this template is so flexible, you can customize this basically based on your needs and use case. You can extend this particular template to sync data to even multiple catalogs. Again, the possibilities are endless, right? So very simple YAML based template and feel free to extend this for Polaris or, or Nessie or other catalogs as well. So without wasting any further time, let's uh, begin the process or, or see how you can use this particular template. So uh, I want to show you quickly uh, on my uh, AWS S3, I do have an existing, existing iceberg table here called customers. This particular table is not synced with glue hive meta store. Again, it's a table that has been written, but again, it's not synced. So you can use this particular template that I have. So the first step you would do is you would define the YAML file. The YAML file is very easy. It takes a catalog name, whatever catalog name that you like, wanna give, takes your AWS account number. So you have to provide that, the region, right? And then the packages, these are the packages I'm gonna use for that. Now the database name is gonna be IcebergDB. This particular database does not exist on Glue. The, the table name would be customer and this is the location to the iceberg. So what this template does is first it will make a call using Boto3 uh, Boto uh, to the S3. It will try to grab the latest metadata file and then it will register that in, in Glue. You can run it locally, Airflow or EMR and then you can even customize this to uh, sync with multiple catalogs if needed, right? So you define your YAML file and this is the uh, template that I wrote. Again, feel free to you know, see the code and, 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 you know, and, and uh, modify it if needed, right? Now, all I would do is just say Python run, uh, run sync.py and I will provide the path to the config file, okay? So let me actually copy uh, my path, make sure I have my latest path over here. I did that and now let me open my terminal, run this. So first it will grab the metadata file from S3. It will make that particular call. And after grabbing the metadata file, it will uh, call a stored procedure and register the tables there. So here you can see successfully sync the table. So if I head over to glue, I do not have that database, right? So if I refresh, look automatically iceberg DB, you have a table over here called customer. And that's particular schema. It, it was able to register that, right? So a very simple, uh, a very simple template which allows you to register your existing iceberg table on object store with the catalog. Of course, please feel free to fork this. Please feel free to, uh, you know, extend the functionality based on your use case and need. You can uh, add functionality to sync with Polaris. You can add functionality to sync with uh, Nessie and other catalogs, HMS as well, right? So you can, if needed, you can easily extend the functionality to sync with multiple catalogs if needed. So that's it for the video. The code is there. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And if you have any other questions, let me know. Until then, I will see you in the upcoming next video.